Alright, hello. This is... Don't remember my channel name. Um, I'm doing another candy tour. Here, that's it. This is Parker. Yeah, my name. Doing another candy tour. My last one sucked, to be honest. Um, and also my last video. The feeding my shoelaces thing. Really, really embarrassed about that. Um, the mask thing. I don't know what that was. Um... Candy though, I want to start with one of my newest things. Searching for it, and I don't know where it is. Um, this, yo, <laughs> it's an epic cuff. It's purple, blue, rainbow, and pink. Purple, blue, yellow, and pink. Super cool pretty big on me but it's sick usually i make rotator cuffs so i'm not used to doing just a re regular cuff like this i think it's cool though um oh there's this this thing so stretchy um my friend ace made it i love it it's super cool um window cuff super sick um I just needed to use up like all of my red for this because I had a bunch of red and I was like running out of beads at the time so I just used all that up. Super sick. It goes really, really far up on my arm. Huge. I have this which used to be a rotator cuff before the rotating um, perler came off at school. And my friend actually found it. They gave it back to me because they found it. That was sick. Um, but it broke. And then I took apart the um, black actual rotating piece because I needed the beads. Sucks. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Mask. Kind of sucks. Oh. Kind of sucks if I'm being honest. Because um, it pulls my ears up. I think it's cute though. It's kind of small on me. B. B. If we're including non-wearable pieces, I've got a shaker cube, a bi octopus. I have a pan one that's on my backpack. And this. My friend Coral made me this. This is, like, super great. These are my two rotating cuffs. Uh, this one is supposed to be moondrop themed. My friend, uh, my friend Ace uh, has the sundrop themed one. So they're, like, matching. This is moondrop. Then we have this, which says, I don't know if you can see that. It says aliens on it. Super sick. Love this one. It's like so much fun to wear. And little stars glow in the dark. I've got these two. Pretty sure they were in my last one. Strawberries and stuff. Sick. Then we have this rainbow um, cheetah pattern. I found the pattern online for this. And this one, I'm pretty sure it was... Um, it was inspired by a candy piece I saw in, like, a video, a YouTube video or something. I don't know, but I really like it, though. I don't normally wear it, but it's cute. The star actually has, I mean, I'm, ah. <laughs> this actually has um, a matching X base for it. And this little uh, Care Bear thing that I had, so I put it on a bracelet. thought that was cool. I've got this made by Coral. I think it's really cool, actually. I really like the color uh, combo. I think this was also in the last one. Just a regular uh, red, red rainbow uh, peyote. I don't, I don't actually know how to uh, pronounce it. I don't know if it's peyote or peyote. I'm going to just do a random grab, see what I get. Yo! <laughs> Alright, this is a bunch of singles. Duck says duck Ooh, platonic husbands this one actually has a bit of a story so me and my friend ellie who's also named ace um oh my gosh i need to explain uh pause where is it this is made by a different ace 
this is for the same ace that made that rainbow and silver one. Platonic husbands. We platonically married each other. Very fun. Adorable. Coral made me this. I love it. Ooh, weenie ho. Love this one. My friend, my friend Chloe texted me, shut the fuck up, you weenie ho. And so I turn it into matching bracelets because creative freedom lets me make cursed stuff. ABBA. This was the first candy I ever traded. Um, I traded my Gur candy for this. Uh, with a girl named June. Um, clarinet. My grandma gave me this. She bought it. This. This bead right here was actually on, um, a, like a rainbow wounds, uh, rubber band bracelet that I found in the, in the front of my old elementary school. I love this. I wear this one like every day. Let's see. Grab of doom. It's like all behind me. Uh. All right, let me move this out of the way. Ooh, I made this. Fire. Sick. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Oh my god. Sleepy boy. I like it. I found uh, this bead right here. Right there. Uh, in the front of, in my at, at my elementary school. I made a bunch of bracelets that were just like based on colors, but I don't think I have all of them. Like down though. It's purple. Um, IJ, my partner's, uh, sorry, um, initials, my partner's initials. It's got like a blue and red thing, because that's their name. More of the colors, red and orange and pink. There's this. This glows in the dark. This is, I don't really like this piece, actually. Mm. Ooh! This, I think this is in my last one too. This is actually um, from my outdoor school beads. Sick. Oh, let's show this cuff. It's a star. It's a star cuff. Oh, that looks a little rough. This is better. Star cuff. Woohoo. First one I ever made. Really good. It did not turn out great, to be honest, man. It really didn't. Give me a second. My last one took way longer than this. I need to fix up my hair to look amazing. Because I'm a little bit. Ooh! Look at this. I got this from the Thomas the Train blind bag that I got at Goodwill Bins. Love Goodwill Bins, by the way. Glow in the dark stars. Necklace. Love it. Pile all this down here. Almost out. Oh, where is it? Ooh, I missed something for non wearable candy. From Coral! Love stars, to be honest. They're like so easy to make. And so much fun just to have like a Virginia of them. This, this is a little resin chocolate bar thing my friend made me. Um, we're not friends anymore. Didn't need to include that, but oh well. Um, it's like all galaxy looking and stuff. It's really sick. And so I put it on candy. Ooh, I made this yesterday because my friends and me, we were doing a, um, it was like a candy challenge. And so we, I did, since I just saw the Nightmare Before Christmas in theaters yesterday, because it was the 30th anniversary, we decided to do, um, a candy cuff that was based off of, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And we have the inside that's like all green and stuff. This part is actually kind of like neon, uh, for, I did that for Oogie Boogie Man. <laughs> oh, why does it like that? Um, and then we have purple, orange, and yellow for just like, um, that's what I got when I googled, um, Nightmare Before Christmas color palette, so I just used those, and I think it looks pretty sick, actually. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow, so it's cool. Um, <gasps> Ina! Oh, it's backwards. Ina! You know, damn, my hair looks terrible. 
consistently turning around to grab candy. I just like accidentally threw one. This was from, from Ace, the Ace that gave me the gold and silver thing. This is like really loose on me. First candy I ever made. This little thing. Like, first candy I ever made was like a payout stitch when most people's are like, ooh, little shingle. I made a peyote stitch. So I'm actually really good at it, but I don't do them at all just because I get bored really easily and I make. And X bases are also really easy. Carol B. I had a um, Hello Kitty one, but I gave that to Ace. Gold and silver cuff ace. Oh my god. School ace. My best friend from school. This says... I need to realize that you can't read. Can you? Cry ba- You can. Great. Yeah. Cry Baby. From the Melanie Martinez album. Oh, and you can see it has a little... Oh my god. Little smiley faces thing, because, of course... I love Melanie Martinez, to be honest. Like, great movies. This one is kind of cringy, but um, there was this game in music class in elementary where you'd have like a bunch of like little tiny trinkets or whatever and you'd grab them and you wouldn't let anybody see them. Then the teacher would go down the list and when they saw the thing, you, if it was like, oh, Hello Kitty toy, you'd be, I have the Hello Kitty toy, and you'd like put it into the box. Um, one day it was a green foot and so I stole said green foot. And I put it on a bracelet that says, I have that green font. I don't know. Cool story. Um, when I was pan, I made this. Trans and pan flag and then purple because that's my favorite color. I bet you can guess what this is based off of. Monster. Oh, there's this. Um, I made me and my friends a bunch of matching bracelets and mine has P on it. For Parker. Um... Damn, what was a noise? I found the design for this perler on the internet. Oh, shit. It's got a little thing saying, Alien! You cannot read that. Um. <gasps> jellyfish! Rainbow candy jellyfish! How sick is that? This is the piece I dropped? Uh. Rainbow spiked bracelet <laughs> I really like this one it's like really comfortable to wear and I think it's like super cool here's the piece that I was damn here's the piece that I was going to show but could not find it's an x base cuff out of these like iridescent star beads and since I use rainbow cording found off Amazon um it looks all like rainbowy and stuff you see that? It's so sick. It's like kind of, kind of spoke, kind of pokey, but I actually really like it. And I'm planning on making a matching heart one with these iridescent heart stickers, beads that I have. I think it's gonna look super cute. My friends are like, "Oh my god, that's so cool!" Yummy! I love it though. To be honest, I would like to say that I love making candy because it is so much fun and it is just so enjoyable and it just feels great to be able to like make stuff like that. Like when I, oh, back here, when I finished making this, I felt so good, so proud of it. Do you see this? Like, about as big as my head, like as big as my hand, it's huge. I mean, people made bigger, but, like, it's so great, and I made it, felt so proud of myself for making it. I feel like it is such a good distraction, not distraction, but, like, it's just really something to, like, have your hands going, and it's just something great to do, because it makes you feel proud of yourself, and it's like, oh my god, I made this. I made this, and it's just such a great feeling, and I personally really love making candy, because it's just so great, and having friends that make candy makes me feel so connected to people, and so happy, because, you know, in last year, in elementary school, 
technically it was elementary school, sixth grade, who sucked. I was like very, I still wore, you know, I still wore all of my candy, but I felt so embarrassed because I was just, nobody else there really made candy except for, um, the friend June, but like, I always felt so judged and I what I got made fun of for wearing a bunch of candy. Like this one girl had like emailed me, her, she was harassing me, very toxic, um, but she emailed me. And she was like, you're such a fucking weirdo. Like, all those bracelets and stuff. And she, it goes so much more in depth than that. But, like, that's one of the things that she was, like, making fun of me about. Um, but it just, I felt really unsafe in elementary school, to be honest. It was horrible. Middle school is so much better. Like, I just have a way better group of friends. But they all like candy. So it makes me feel like so connected to people. And it is so great and so much fun to create. Really, it is something amazing. And you can just have great experiences with it. Hello Kitty! <gasps> Gotta show that. And I have one more thing. This, those two jinx, it's a shaker. It has, I'm trying to grab it out of there. <gasps> one of these. Sick. This little sticker cube. It's a necklace. Love it. You can't see that. <laughs> but yeah. It's great. All of my candy. Updated candy tour. How sick is that? Yo, bonus. This isn't technically candy, but I got this from the uh, <laughs> Goodwill bins. Oh, it won't. Stay still, damn you. How good are you? <laughs> All right, very last thing. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> um. All right, that's the end of it. I believe. Um. Want to say thanks to the people who have still been subscribed to my channel. That's been inactive for seven months because I didn't have my school computer and I was way too horrified to try and record anything in the living room because if my parents knew about this i would be dead um of course they would i'm a minor <laughs> probably shouldn't say that um but thank you please subscribe please <laughs> i'm joking i'm not gonna force you to do anything because forcing people to do stuff is should be i think is illegal that's bad. That's terrible. Don't, oh my god. If I just like pile everything up and then just like drop it in there, that'd be sick. I was just gonna do that while, um, just saying like thank you to everybody who has subscribed and who's been subscribed. Um, man, I've had quite the eventful, actually I haven't, but I have had an eventful-ish summer and i hope that everybody's had a great time being like back at school if you're if you're in school um please keep watching my videos i'm gonna be posting more often now that i actually have started a video please stay subscribed at least and i hope that you too can start a youtube channel and be as unsuccessful and lazy as i am I'm joking, but yeah, have fun. This is actually hard, to be honest. It's not hard to do, but it's hard to like stay continuing. Damn, I need to shut up. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.